Welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as Afrocentrian. All right, today I'll be reading for the water signs, which consists of Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Don't forget to like and subscribe and that notification bell. All right, let's get into it. I kind of feel naked that I don't have all my cards with me. I just, I just like to read with my cards, but. We'll see what's going on, what's, what Spirit is saying here. All right, I'm hearing active duty. So someone is on active duty or soon to be on active duty. It don't have to be a physical um, duty to like go, you know, overseas or be called uh, through the military. But I feel like someone's being called to act like activate their duty. Okay. What does that mean? activate their duty what does that mean all right let's see so we have the three of swords five of cups and then the eight of swords in reverse <clears throat> with the three of three of swords and the five of cups here um someone is upset about heartbreak or trauma like they're stuck in this situation or they're stuck in this element of being very heartbroken or disappointed time after time after time. But spirit is saying it's time for you to release eight of swords. It's time for you to release active duty. It's time for you to be active on your duty. Maybe real clumsy too, like just dropping stuff unnecessarily. Yeah, you are the gift, all right. You're not expecting you of you. You're expecting you from other people, um, and you're not realizing that you are the gift. So that's why spirit is saying for you to start to activate your duties, whatever that may mean to you. Okay, um, get over this heartbreak. Um, don't sit in this disappointment. Don't sit in this sadness. And it's time for you to release. You have to face your fears because it's time for you to activate this. Something needs to be activated within you so you can move forward. And what is that? What needs to be activated? Divine lineage. Okay. So that could mean uh, connecting to your uh, ancestors. It could mean um, connecting to your uh, higher source or your higher purpose, but it has a lot to do with connecting with um, with source or higher being, okay? Activate your duties. Like, I feel like you are afraid to activate because, yeah, we got rage and we got harvest and then we also got intuition in reverse. You are afraid of the outcome. You are afraid of the outcome as to what's going to happen. Um what I'm getting is like, if I do this, will this come back to me? If I do this, will this harm me in this way? Okay. Um, somebody afraid to step in their, step in their, their calling, their power. It is a lot of clumsiness that's going on. Yeah, you have a new beginning here. You just got to go with the flow. You got to be confident as well, too. I feel like you may allow other people to dictate how um, how you see things, how you view things. And that may also be frustrating you because you're not using your intuition. The rage, okay? Rage in this instance here doesn't mean like to go out and curse and fight somebody. But it means that the, the internalized rage that you have within yourself, use it as motivation, okay? Um which is going to, at the end, bring you into your harvest. So right now you're not harvesting or things are not coming in the way that you, you know, you expect or you would like for it to come in. And that's because you're not activating your duty. You're not on active duty. Okay. So spirit is calling you to step up to the plate, step up to the plate and like, just go, just glide, just fly. Like I always say, even though if it don't make sense, cause that's going to be the end of your conflict here. Okay. And that's what's going, that's what's going on. Um, release you from all these negative burdens or these heavy burdens and also um, you're going to feel very free so like I said it, even if it does not make sense like while you're doing it still do it okay because I feel like I feel like most of the times the things that we do that does not make the most sense to us is the things that's going to help you get out of the situation or 
uh, opportunity or whatever it is, okay? It, it helps you to get out of... Um, because sometimes you can get out of an opportunity too. Maybe the opportunity was too good to be true. Maybe you want to pull back. Maybe it's not for you, for your highest good or for your best interest. So maybe you're wanting to pull away from this opportunity here. But I really do feel um, that it, it, it comes time for you to make a decision, a very solid decision as to how to move forward because you're slacking right now. Nothing is coming in. You're slacking. So this could be you or this could be them watching you, okay? Um... Yeah, we have defeat, five of swords, so you may feel defeated. Um, you may feel like there's some conflict here, but I really do feel like there's some um, in, inner conflict. And even if someone is trying to push conflict onto you, like, don't... Resistance, okay? Are you afraid to fight back? You're afraid to fight back. The mask is here. So you're wearing a mask. You're afraid to fight back. Because you feel safe in your comfort zone. And you feel safe in your bubble. You don't want to come out. You don't want to... Um, I'm hearing like getting anyone's way. Or just more so start anything to... I'm hearing insight. So... Hmm. You're not wanting to incite something. But by you inciting this, this is what's going to cause your harvest. Because right now your harvest is in reverse. And you have a lot of resistance because of something that you don't want to do. Like you are afraid to take that leap of faith. And you're not using your intuition. Your intuition is screaming at you, but you're not you're not paying attention to that. So you're really kind of living behind this false reality or this false mask because it's not really who you are. You're, you're afraid of what people are going to think of you or how people are going to, to view you. Mm -hmm. So you we have betrayal and we have worthiness, but betrayal was in reverse. So worthiness is upright and betrayal is in reverse. And I feel like you may not think that you're worthy enough to step up to, to activate this duty that you're called to do. Um... Or also, you may you may feel like you just don't want to betray yourself. Like, you don't want to put yourself out there to not get a, a return on investment, okay? Like, well, dang, I said this, I did this, I did that, and it's not working for me, okay? You have to completely change the way that you think. You got to think about your mindset, all right? Because that's definitely at play right now, and it's really hindering you from moving forward. It's like you are afraid to show that side of you, that rage, like that negativity and it has to be balanced okay you can't just be in your light all the time so we have rage and then we have the sun card in reverse um with rage in reverse and then um the sun in reverse so you're not wanting to show that rageful side of yourself or more so that negativity side of yourself you just kind of want to stay in the light all the time and if you're gonna live on this planet earth it has to be a balance it has to be light and it has to be dark so it is okay to play in your dark energy um i know other people may tell you oh no that's not don't do that and stuff like that but listen everything has to be some sort of a balance no matter what you do it has to be a balance because if there's not balance um this is where you can run into roadblocks you can run into um obstacles blockages and it could just be a mental blockages it don't have to be a physical thing but um overall it, it's very important to make sure that you are saying how you feel and just be unapologetic about it because in this world, you got people that's that's good and you got people that's evil. That's just the way this work this world works, okay? That's universal law. It's law. So with that being said, it's okay to be in your dark. Play in your dark. There's nothing wrong with your dark magic, your dark energy, cosmic power. Okay, be brazen about it. Be very brazen about it. Somebody may be feeling clumsy, they may be feeling worried, they may be feeling anxious because I just keep dropping my cards. So if you are in a um, if you are in a space or area where it's warm um, and you can go outside, make sure you go outside and ground yourself. Um, release all those old um, things that no longer serves you. If someone is doing something to you or maybe sending you evil eye or projection, send that shit right back to them. Magnify that shit and send that shit right back to them. Okay. 
I think a lot of people is afraid that karma is like, oh my God, if I do this, will it hurt me? Right? So we have the Ten of Pentacles, okay? So you have Ten of Pentacles and you have Nine of Pentacles, but Ten of Pentacles is in reverse. So yeah, you may have lost money, but you're wanting to regain that back with the Nine of Pentacles with the luxury of success. And I'm telling you, to be honest with you, in, in this energetic space right now, in order for you to get this, you got to be in your dark energy. And I feel like that frightens you. It frightens you to be in your dark energy because, yeah, the feet, six of wands, you think that, oh, my God, if, I, if, if I'm if i in that dark spot, like, will, will it come back to me? Will it harm me? Will I, will I get in trouble? Like, it, it feels very worrisome. It, it feels very worrisome. Like, I don't know if I can do this. And, and I mean, all I can do is just suggest. <laughs> all I can do is suggest to you, but with the... Hold on, here we go. We have the chariot and the ace of pentacles here. Direction, willpower, the confidence to move forward is going to bring you business opportunities. And when I say being in your dark, dark doesn't always have to negate to negative or evil as well too, okay? Being in your dark, you can create a lot of things while you're in your um, that cosmic power or you're harnessing energy from that cosmic power. I don't want to talk too much about it because we do have people that watch me that are good and evil on here. So um, I, I'm not going to give that part out there because everybody don't need to know how to do, especially not no evil people. But with that being said, it's okay to play your dark side. It's okay to sit in your dark. Like, oh, okay, it's nice here. It's cozy here. Oh, okay, this is what it is. Okay. You know, start to harness that because um, justice is here. All right. You may be um, very shy at this moment with the Queen of Wands. Um, I'm, I, I, this is what I'm hearing. I literally hear, I guarantee you. That's what I hear. I guarantee you. If you just sit in your dark energy or just, just sit in that space and allow things to come through, you're going to be amazed, like, dang, why didn't I do this before? Because we have the Ten of Cups here. It could be lack of stability. It could be a, a broken home. Let me clarify that. Clarify this Ten of Cups in reverse, please. Yeah, look. Pathway is open. Okay, message of concern in your occupation. Okay, so it may have something to do with your job. Um, maybe you lost your job, money's not coming in the way that you would like to, and that is a message of concern. But if you look here, your pathway is open. Play your dark energy, okay? Loss is lack of stability, so you may not have money coming in in the way that you expect, but your journey is open. The pathway is open. You have to activate this part of you, like this duty. Activate the dark side of you. You ain't going to get in trouble. You're not doing nothing because I feel like... You're not even one to be out there to cause like harm to people or or to go out there and like start anything, okay? But yeah, we got six of pentacles. Yeah, you in your way. Mm -hmm. You in your way with the seven seven of pentacles. Um, we have growth and results. If you want growth and you want results, you gotta step out on it. You're too much in your light. <laughs> You're too much in your light energy. <laughs> You don't want to leave it because it's so cozy. You're like, ah, well, if I do this, what's going to happen? Nothing. Because things have to be balanced, okay? Impulsive, uh, gossiping. So you may have your intuition um, reaching out to you, maybe giving you information, but you're just completely ignoring it or negating what's giving to you. Um, you may feel like the thoughts that are coming to you are very impulsive and very, in a very quick and hasty manner, but it's going to help you move from your trauma. And I feel like the trauma is self-inflicted that you are creating. And this is the reason why you're not able to get ahead. I'm just being honest with you. Yeah, look, broke. We have King of Pentacles. You may feel broke. You may, you may feel there's some kind of corruption that's going on. Yeah, play it. Listen, I, we have the Ten of uh, Will of Fortune. <laughs> um, change, destiny, good luck is coming. Listen. How bad do you want it? No matter if it sounds fucking crazy. We are in the energy of Uranus, Aquarius, Saturn, Jupiter. Jupiter is in Aries. I think Saturn is in Aquarius. Uranus is in... Don't quote me on Uranus. 
but Uranus is good for like innovation, new thinking, uh, thinking outside the box. No matter how crazy or far fetched it sounds, just put it out there. They'll be like, what's going on? Just put it out there. <laughs> All right, let's see what this is because this was in. This was in here, so let's see what this is. Yep, it's going to help you find your balance. It's going to help you to find your balance. And you're going to be so glad that you have taken this step um, to start balancing out your energies. You're way too much on the light side, and that's not helping you. It's helping you, but it's not. Like, it's okay to come to the dark side from time to time. Not saying that you come to your dark side to intentionally hurt somebody. That's not what I'm saying. But it's okay. Look, we got self-doubt. You doubt yourself because you're like, I don't want to go to the dark side. I don't, I don't like it over there. It's too dark. It's too heavy. It's too this. It's too dense. It's too this. And you're just kind of like psyching yourself out. Okay. Yeah, I'm stuck. So I'm gonna stop there. I don't have my dice, and I like I said, I feel real naked without all my cards and stuff. Anywho, so if that resonates with you in any way, shape, or form, for the water signs, please feel free to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Until next time, water signs, peace.